If you had to guess which Subaru model was the number one seller in 2022, which model would you guess? Is it the Forester? Is it the Outback? The Crosstrek? Maybe even the third row SUV, the Subaru Ascent, or one of our sports cars, the WRX or BRZ? Let me know your guess down below. I'm gonna reveal that here in just a second, or who knows, I might give it away in the title of this video. So I'm curious to know, let me know if your answer was correct before finding out what the correct answer was. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly Subaru videos just like this, telling you cool things about Subarus, showing you how to operate them, answering all your questions about Subarus. So if you enjoy that type of content, click on the subscribe button down below and comment below with any questions you have on Subarus. So for the first time ever in 2022, the Subaru Crosstrek, our crossover SUV, beat both the Outback and the Forester for the total sales volume, which is pretty impressive considering the supply chain constraints we've had with these Crosstreks up until now, up until 2024 model year. All of our Crosstreks have been manufactured over in Japan, and it's been a lot more difficult getting our Japanese cars than it has getting our US manufactured cars like the Outback. The Outback, the Legacy, Ascent, those have been manufactured in Lafayette, Indiana, in North America while the cross treks have always been produced in japan and now are being switched over half the lineup the two liter is still going to be in japan but the 2.5 liter cross treks the sport and the limited will be manufactured here in the u.s so that is pretty impressive that despite these being manufactured overseas and all the constraints we've had and all the delays we've had that this little car right here has beat out our most popular options that have been the most popular for decades now, the Outback and the Forester. I'm going to tell you multiple reasons why the Subaru Crosstrek is the number one selling Subaru in today's video, but stick around to the end because I'm gonna tell you the number one reason at the end. So why is it that the Subaru Crosstrek became the number one selling Subaru in 2022? First, let's talk about the size of this car. So it is smaller than both the Forester and the Outback but it has almost all the same characteristics and features that the Forester and Outback have. So by getting this car, yes, you're getting a smaller vehicle, but you're not missing out on Subaru safety, their reliability, and their versatility. Just to give you the first example, the Subaru Crosstrex comes standard with symmetrical all-wheel drive, just like all of our other Subaru models, with the exception of the BRZ, which is rear-wheel drive, and they have 8.7 inches of ground clearance. So the 8.7 inches of ground clearance is the exact same as our Foresters, our Ascents, and the Outback. So the ground clearance is the exact same as those other Subaru SUVs. So even though the body is shorter and the roof is shorter, you still have the same ground clearance if you do intend to take this hiking or off the beaten path. You have capabilities there with that symmetrical all-wheel drive system and the ground clearance. The second reason why this model is the number one seller is because of the powertrain. So a lot of people you'll see on forums, enthusiasts wanna see Subaru throw a bigger engine in this car or even put a turbo engine on this car, but that is not necessary for this size vehicle. It comes standard with a two liter engine. If you go with a base or premium, that is the engine that you're going to have. It's a four cylinder engine with 150 something horsepower. And then you have the option in the Sport and the Limited. This one is a Limited with the 2.5 liter engine, giving it an additional 30 horsepower. This 2.5 liter engine is the exact same engine I have in my 2023 Outback Onyx. So it's the same engine that is in the Outback and the same engine that is in the Forester. So that same size engine is in a smaller vehicle. It carries the vehicle well in rough terrain, highway driving, city driving. And speaking of, the fuel economy is another big win for this car. You can get about 30 miles per gallon average with regular driving combined between city and a highway. This one in particular, with it being the 2.5 liter, has a combined average of 29 miles per gallon. But if you did go with the lower trim level that has the two liter engine, you're gonna get slightly better fuel economy with that smaller displacement. The third reason the Subaru Crosstrek has become a number one seller has to do with the way it looks. 
This car has the versatility and reliability of all of our other Subaru models, but it has its own unique style, including these 18 inch alloy wheels. These wheels are only on the limited trim level. If you go with any other Crosstrek, you do have some pretty stylish wheels as well, but they are 17 inch. And these wheels in particular, when in motion, they have their own unique appearance. When in motion, they kind of look like saw blades moving. And that's something that I think just looks really cool when in motion. It really sets this car apart, not only from other crossover SUVs in its class, but it sets it apart from other Subaru models available. Not only does the Crosstrek have really cool looking wheel designs and body designs, but they also have unique colors. So this color right here is the cool gray khaki. It's exclusive to the Subaru Crosstrek and unfortunately has been discontinued for the 2024 model year, but they replaced it with a few new color offerings. For example, the Alpine Green that was most recently debuted at the Chicago Auto Show and the Offshore Blue Metallic, which I believe is going to also closely resemble this color, but be a little bit darker with metallic flake in it. Another key reason why the Crosstrek is such a top seller is because you don't have to make sacrifices when it comes to safety. You still have Subaru's EyeSight cameras positioned up there in the windshield. I've talked about this a thousand times here on the channel, but that controls your emergency automatic braking up front, your adaptive cruise control, and your lane centering. So you still have that standard safety equipment on any Subaru Crosstrek that you get. And in combination with your EyeSight system, you also have optional blind spot indicators over here in the side mirrors when you have somebody in your blind spot area. Something Subarus are known for is outward visibility, both up front where the mirrors are not blocking up front and in the rear where you may have blind spots. And the Crosstrek is just like any other Subaru, like the Outback and the Forester, has great outward visibility so you can look over your shoulder easily left or right and be able to see out of your back window to see if a car is right next to you in case your car is not already equipped with those blind spot indicators that light up orange on the mirrors. Up top, the Crosstrek comes standard with roof rails. The optional crossbars are available if you wanna load things on top like cargo boxes for traveling, bike racks, snowboard racks, kayak racks, whatever it may be, whatever your heart desires. If you have an outdoor lifestyle, you have the ability to load stuff on top of your Crosstrek roof with the standard roof rails. Some trim levels even have premium audio systems like the Harman Kardon system, power driver's seat, push button start, and keyless entry for ease of access getting in and out of your car. So you, with the keys in your pocket, you don't even have to get them out. You can lock the door just by tapping your finger right there, and you can unlock the door by putting your hand on the inside of the handle. If it has this option, it also has the ability to use the My Subaru app with remote start, which is something I personally have on my Subaru Outback and really love it, especially during times like now when it's cold out and I wanna get my car warmed up before I hop in and go. While the Crosstrek is not as big as some of our other popular options like the Forester and the Outback, it does have a lot of capabilities when it comes to size. So up front here, this resembles a lot like the Subaru Forester, the exact same interior design, just slightly smaller, still very large openings. And when we hop to the back here, we have large openings again for the rear door. That makes it easier to load up kids and car seats or dogs and crates, whatever you are loading up here. So there are three anchor points on the back of the seats here to load up car seats and to fit up to five people comfortably in the Subaru Crosstrek. You also have a hatchback here with a large opening, cargo space to store gear or luggage when you're traveling. Got a cargo cover. These seats fold down just like they do in our other Subaru models giving you even more space. You can pull this out if you want. So that gives you even more space when you're loading things up, if you're putting bikes in here, or a dog crate, or whatever it may be. The Crosstrek also comes standard with the latest technology in the infotainment display, 
like Bluetooth and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. For 2023 and older Crosstrek models, it's going to look like this, and it's gonna require you to plug and play your USB cable to activate the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which connects your device here and mirrors apps up on the display like Google Maps or Waze or phone call and text apps up on the display here for you to easily use while your phone is tucked away. New for 2024 though, as we saw recently with the debut of the new 24 Crosstrek, we are getting the same display that is in the Subaru Outback. It's gonna have that large 11.6 inch touchscreen display where you can now wirelessly connect your phone to the infotainment display for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The final reason that the Subaru Crosstrek has become the number one selling Subaru is actually the biggest reason, and that has to do with the price. For the options you get on this car, you get a ton of value. So we have standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. We have a 2.5 liter and a two liter engine, both four cylinders that get roughly 30 miles per gallon combined. So excellent fuel economy, reliability, safety technology, like the EyeSight system that is standard on all the Subarus now and you have the size and versatility of our other SUV models like the roof rack, the 8.7 inches of ground clearance, and the hatch with cargo space. So whenever you look at all that and you compare that to an Outback or a Forester, you're easily looking at 30 plus thousand dollars. Well, not with the Crosstrek. The starting price on a Crosstrek base trim level that has all those features I just mentioned with the CVT transmission, which is now standard in 2024, the manual transmission is no longer available. The price is $26,220, the exact same price as the CVT automatic base trim Crosstrek for 2023. So they actually didn't increase the price for the base trim on 2024. Now, if you move on up, the price does increase based on the trim level and the options you choose, but you can still get quite a few options and still be just under 30,000 or just above it if you wanna max it out and go to the highest trim level. Now, when you compare that to an Outback or a Forester, you're going to be in the 40 plus thousand dollar range to get the highest trim level. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it informative. If you did, please be sure to remember to click the like button before you go. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comment section below. I hope you guys have a great day. And as always, I will see you in the next one.